I think what his coaches and his team will probably be most pleased with is how he bounced back from yesterday because it must have been really tough to swim that quickly and not get a goal for it. Yeah, and that's why we're, as swimmers you're always taught to focus on yourself and the process because actually he did swim incredibly quickly. He did break the old world record. He set a European record. So he did nothing wrong. And it's hard for swimmers to realise you can't actually control the other athletes around you. It's extra hard for the S14 athletes as well. Absolutely. This was a fantastic race to follow it. Valeria Shabalina has returned to the world stage in a major way. Enormously impressive performance from her. Xiao Wei Lam of Hong Kong went really quickly in bronze medal position. Jessica Jane Applegate affords herself a small smile. I think that one will have hurt her a little bit. She was the world record holder. It was the event she was looking for. But no one expected this from Valeria Shabalina. Not even sure Valeria Shabalina expected it. We saw her on the podium plenty of times this week and she's been pretty reserved, almost business-like. But the results that she's produced yesterday and today have inspired a different sort of reaction. She almost, she looks absolutely delighted, but she seems almost surprised that she is going that quick. Yeah, we said this wasn't an event for her the last time she was competing on the international stage. So she wouldn't have known how she was going to fare. But it is another gold medal for Russia, a gold medal for Valeria Shabalina. There was a lot of mutual respect between Jessica Jane Applegate and Valeria Shabalina. They've raced each other for too long now not to have that. But Jessica Jane does look 